Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Just wanted to quickly update everyone on some Ripple, XRP, and X Rapid news I thought was pretty interesting here. And uh, tying everything together here because today I think is going to be a pretty big day. Uh, we'll get into that just as well. I want to start off by saying if you are someone who has things in your home that could potentially be rented out, for example, uh, a tent or a lawnmower or a bicycle, if you will, and you would like to try to make some money off that instead of it having just uh, you know the ability to collect dust sitting in your house go to the Omni app and upload your items there and see if anybody would like to rent that out for however long they need to or whatever but nonetheless you can actually get paid for renting it out and now you can actually get paid in XRP which is really cool because it's giving uh, the ability for regular household members to be introduced to cryptocurrencies more importantly to one of the best digital assets out there currently whether it is going to maintain that name or title who knows but right now xrp has uh is one of the more um proficient uh, cryptocurrencies out there it's one of the fastest for transaction fees it's one of the cheapest so it's interesting that again xrp is a means for you to cash out using simply this app for renting out your uh your items there so good on omni hopefully we'll start seeing more mass adoption for other apps incorporating the means to cash out an xrp for example uh, moving on i'm bringing up this article here because this was actually done a month ago i've already talked about it in previous videos other people have talked about it as well it wasn't a big deal other than it was just uh you know for example cnbc doing interviews with representatives of ripple and trying to get some sort of foresight as to what we could expect from ripple and the talk of x rapid and we had uh, Segar Sarbai, who is a representative of Ripple, who more or less, as a means of foreshadowing, if you will, stated that in the next month or so, we should start seeing a lot more headway with the topic of X Rapid here. Now, I bring that up because almost a month, uh, almost a month later, we are having this next step mars blockchain summit so it feels like it couldn't have been any more of a foreshadowing means to hear the that kind of talk there and then of course we start seeing this right here now i'm not i'm not speculating that we're going to hear any news or any announcements from ripple uh, or even the talk of x rapid at this blockchain summit but the idea that this guy's talking about how he i mean he already knows things everybody in ripple are more or less has uh knowledge of what's getting ready to take place and i would imagine due to non-disclosure agreements that they can't actually talk about it outright but when you have these big summit events that's where the, a lot of the announcements can happen now mind you big names are going to be at this summit event uh Representatives from NASDAQ, Ripple, Standard & Poor's, Morgan Stanley, Barclays, and Galaxy Digital are going to be there. Now, interesting enough, if you're not familiar with Standard & Poor's, are you familiar with S&P and the S&P 500 in stocks? There you go. We're going to have representatives from that, uh, that group going to be there at this particular summit event. And of course, we're going to have leaders from China just as well. So... This is going to be a mass gathering of some of the biggest names out there, representatives from the biggest names. I did a little bit more research on this summit here, and a big topic that's going to be talked about here as well is stablecoins. So if you have leaders from China who are completely against cryptocurrencies but 100% on board for blockchain, my guess is that they might be looking in the direction of trying to find some sort of stablecoin based off of their country and whatever they want to attach that to or uh, you know tether that to, if you will. But it'll be interesting to hear what comes from this particular event. If you guys are aware of anything, leave that in the comment section just as well. But uh, a couple key things here. When I mentioned that you know you have the S and P representatives going to be there, and of course uh, uh, Galaxy Digital. Well, guess what? Galaxy Digital is owned by billionaire Mike Novogratz, and guess what else? He is going to be Fidelity's first custodian client. So huge news as far as like these big corporations getting together, working with uh, cryptocurrencies more directly, especially with the name Fidelity. We've already talked about them just as well. So keep that in mind. Again, uh, S&P. I bring them up because we had heard earlier in the year that S&P created Global Plus, and it's a blockchain. Um, to track uh, UAE oil inventories. So who knows if this is something where we connect uh, some dots here and we have, uh, you know, when we go back to this particular um, you know, event, we have the leaders of China and then we have S&P with their uh, built-in blockchain to you know track the, the basis of oil. 
again, I'm not trying to make speculation, and I'm not saying that correlation equals causation, but man, if you start connecting dots here, you can start seeing this broader, bigger picture of some things getting ready to take place in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. And I think that something like this right here, again, leading into the end of this year, and we have other blockchain events that are getting ready to take place around the world, some big news is getting ready to come out, guys. And if we start seeing more uh, integrations of XRapid happening, or at least announcements, um, XRP could potentially start taking off relatively soon. Now, of course, um, one of the things I wanted to bring up again, and this has been talked about, was obviously an article we had mentioned regarding X Spring, and of course, that's just another uh, another platform that's being created you know by representatives of ripple they're working you know as hard as they possibly can on their own end regarding you know ripple and of course uh, hopefully the use case of x rapid uh and showing how well that works so that we can get more integration into other companies banks institutions around the world but nonetheless i just wanted to re-emphasize that in this article the world trade center has actually mentioned um you know, really, really good talks and really good wording about what we could potentially see for X Rapid being this cross-border payment method there. So again, when you have, you know, names like World Trade Organization giving some highly talked about um, uh, wording regarding, you know, what Ripple's doing and what X Rapid is doing, um, I think that that's huge. Again, you mix that all up, you start connecting dots here and there regarding what we're seeing in the, in the near future. We could potentially see things like this right here where, uh, uh, Pantera Capital exec, uh, executives talking about how cryptocurrency market price could increase tenfold by 2020. Now, this isn't mentioning anything regarding uh, X Rapid or even Ripple, the company, but the idea that we're hearing all of these particular blockchain events and blockchain uh, you know, investment firms coming out and wanting to get themselves incorporated in cryptocurrencies. When you start hearing people from Pantera Capital talking that we could see a, an increase uh, by ten, you know, of tenfold. I mean, I'm trying to emphasize in my mind and to you guys how big that could potentially be. Tenfold is huge. If we wanted to ten times the numbers that we're currently sitting at now, those are astronomical numbers by comparison. We're, and that's not even touching what we could potentially see coming into the cryptocurrency market. So by 2020, guys, we could absolutely see uh, a lot of money being put in to the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem. And one of the other things I wanted to kind of end on here was this right here. It was an article that was more or less put together to talk about what we could potentially see because of how um, Bitcoin itself is kind of repeating a 2014 trend. Now, we've already heard about this. People tried to use this kind of comparison there, but it's it almost is uplifting to kind of see this thinking that, hey, you know what? We experienced this major bear trend that took place in 2014 and it extended itself out for quite some time, uh, a year and a half, almost two years if I'm not mistaken. Now, of course, in the grand scope of things when it comes to cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology things go so much faster uh you know as time evolves and so that the time frame that you would have to wait shortens from my understanding so instead of waiting an additional two years after this bear you know bear market we were dealing with we might not have to wait as long what this article is more or less talking about is how the trend of right now 2018 favors that of what took place in 2014 and with that being the case you can see that with this chart they showed that you know you had this major bear trend uh, after 2014 leading into 2015 and that's when we saw it take off going all the way up to you know December 2017 where we had uh, one of the most parabolic jumps in cryptocurrencies so all I'm trying to do is hopefully provide some good news here, uh, uplifting news here, and hopefully this will spark an interest in everybody back again to start paying attention to what's happening in the cryptocurrency world, but more importantly, hopefully what's happening in the Ripple community because, again, knowing that Ripple is going to be representing themselves at that next step summit blockchain, I really do think that we should be paying attention to that, guys. This right here today the next step blockchain summit if you guys hear of anything that i haven't actually announced already that is 
absolutely of importance. Again, trying to connect some of the dots here. Please let us know in the comment section. But again, I think that what we're going to see coming out of this summit is going to be absolutely uplifting and positive as well. And again, keep your mind, keep your eyes on any news coming out regarding uh, uh, additional news about stable coins. Again, that's one of the primary talks I've been reading about that's happening at this summit. So uh, again, if you know of anything, leave it in the comment section. But outside of that, whatever I find out, I'm definitely going to let you guys know here on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit that like button. It definitely helps get this information out there to as many people as we possibly can. And also share this content out with everybody. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. This channel has been growing by leaps and bounds and I could not have done it without you guys. If you really want to help this channel grow, please donate to my Patreon page. Even a dollar a month would be amazing and would absolutely go right into my channel to make it more professional for you guys and allow me to create even more content. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.